All right, guys, how's it going? So there was a conversation on Facebook today, and the user had a model very similar to something like this, and he essentially wanted to select the outside polygons. Now this gives me a good excuse to show you select by coplanner and select by material. Now coplanner essentially means selecting on the same plane. So I have a plane here. Now if I actually zoom in, there's a whole bunch of polygons on the one edge here. So selecting just one side can be a little bit difficult. So what I need to do here is, I'm going to select a polygon. I'll come up to select, select similar, coplanner. And that will essentially select all the polygons on the same plane. You can see here it's only selected the top. So what happens if we have something a little bit more complex? Well this is essentially where we can use the threshold for coplanner. Now there is other methods to do this, but I've not made a tutorial about this, so give me a break. Because of the threshold, we can actually dictate a certain amount of how much it connects. So let's say, for example, I select this bottom polygon, I select here, select here, and I'll just work my way around the mesh ever so slightly, because these are technically on different planes. I'll come up to select, select similar, coplanner. Now you can see here my threshold, if I set it down to zero, it won't select much, but I can actually put the threshold up. Now if I go too far on the threshold, you'll see that it's actually selecting the underside. So you need to find a good balance. So my threshold is probably 0 0.3. But it misses out some polygons, but don't worry about this. If you press shift, you can just select a few extra ones, just to kind of tell the mesh, hey look, I'm here. Select. Similar, co-planner cool again. There we go, nearly got it. Couple more. Now you can play around with the threshold, and like I mentioned, there is other ways to achieve this effect. But select by similar, co-planner cool again. And there's one last, always one. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm actually going to assign a new material to these polygons selected. So I'll come up to new, material, and I'll assign it. And these are all white now. So next time when I maybe want to make that selection again, I can select a polygon, select, select similar by material, and that will select all the polygons. And it's a kind of cheap way of thinking of save by selection, if you use other applications. But it also means if I do something like, if I go to mesh, and then go to separate, separate by selection, by material, it gives me a little bit more options, so I can select this by selection. And I can actually move things around a bit. So that's select by co-planner and it's select by material. Two very simple and basic functionalities, but pretty good to know to be honest. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it costs you nothing, just hit that goddamn button. You know what to do. Take care.